Every year can produce wonderful teams, and England always seem to have an inferior side. That's a alarm, and top scorer Miroslav Klose. A chance for the new Wednesday defender, Federico Fernandes, replaces the injured Aziki. And uh, Gonzalo Higuain was injured for Napoli at the weekend, and the club announced this morning permit problems that uh, should all be sorted out by the time the Premier League gets going again on Saturday week. Um, good raid it down the left hand side, it was uh, Fernandez who stopped it, but this young fullback is highly Kramer playing it forward to Gomez. Chance here for the Germans and Romero to the rescue. Well, Mario Gomez. Ball in the net and it was disallowed for offside, quite rightly. Slowly Germany. Romero might have caught that, but elected to punch. Manchester City now, Micah Richards. So again, it was... Rex has had a kick. Digley is the player down injured. Change match. He liked what Sabella did with the side. Here is Schuller. And of course, the coach remains the same. On our attack, you know, let Argentina have a lot of possession and wait for mistakes just like that there. And here come. Here's Di Maria. Sabaleta. Oh, it's a lovely ball in, and Argentina. The flag. We looked over and wondered if it would go up, but Argentina are in front, and it was set up beautifully by Angel Di Maria. That's why he has the most assists in the top five leagues in Europe last season. You wondered if the offside flag was going to come up, but it didn't, and Argentina are ahead here. Waiting in the middle is Gomez, who was in space. Oh, whipped just past the post by Tony Kroos, who's very good usually with his long-range shooting. Well, it's just a leave. They might not have talked about revenge, but they're within sight of maybe getting that. And Neuer has to go down. That's showing a little bit. It certainly showed on the goal. Di Maria. Looks in the mood, doesn't it? Well, they've worked it in the end, and it's cut to Gomez. He must score. Brilliant save, Romero, with his feet. Against Germany. A lot of football left in this yet. But here's Di Maria again, taking on Durham. Skipping past him and Di Maria with a lovely release ball. Aguero needs a bit of support, or does he? Maybe not. Training base and assessing. Strong physical play. Royce is in here. Nearly, nearly got it back to Gomez. Here he is again. Will be a free kick to deny Mario Gomez. A couple, in fact, Gross towards the back post. a good movement from him. Good ball. Di Maria's there again. Aguero's waiting in the middle, pulling into a bit of space. Come back instead to Lamella, who's planted it into the roof of the net. The Tottenham man with his first goal for Argentina, and what a strike! Well, again, it's it's it's. it's it's embarrassing the space in behind in the in, in the left area. Derm again is completely out of position. Not sure if he's not getting the protection, but it's just so easy for them to play in and around these areas. As you see, just thinking Martino when he started at Barcelona went 16 unbeaten, didn't he? At the start, wasn't quite able to continue. Close. The long range shot was too hot to handle. Romero then Gomez. Score then in Dusseldorf is Germany, the world champions nil, Argentina two.
stand. So uh, Manuel Neuer is coming off and uh, Roman Weidenfeller, the goalkeeper who was the oldest ever about this, they certainly won't want to come home to a defeat. Well, they, I think they need to improve and all that. And the defence might have been a bit of a problem. It was the other way round, wasn't it? Again, Di Maria on the ball in a crucial position. Di Maria swung into a great area and three! Three nil up. The first thing Weidenfeller is going to have to do is pick the ball out of the back of his net. Again, it was a Di Maria assist and Yogi Love cannot believe this. Right at the start of the second half. Of course, it's a great ball in from Di Maria. Weidenfeller is not sure if he should come out. Probably should have came and caught the reaction from this on Sunday. Well, as you said, there'll be changes to that side. You think about Goethe and you think about Muller. Podolski, the right balance to this team. Against the player. Cup quarter final. Another really good move. It's Di Maria again with Aguero waiting in the middle, but Di Maria didn't need him. He scored himself. He's made three, scored one, and Argentina are running riot. Four nil up. But you could see that developing even from the center of the pitch. Derm again getting caught out. Such a great one too. Di Maria sees the space and be in behind, and it's such a beautifully worked goal and the finish is remarkable you can see it develop from the future when the Premier League resumes is Marco Royce or really Germany Schürrle couldn't score it was blocked now he does 4-1 it's Andre Schürrle of Chelsea this time well, you can say you want but Schürrle he's probably not the most Beautiful player to watch, but he's so effective. A bit like Thomas Muller in these areas. He always pops up in the box in the right place at the right. And the second attempt punches it clear. The first thing the sub goalkeeper had to do was pick the ball. Di Maria, and as you see, good to Muller about to come on. They need goals on this side, and these two definitely have been clinical in front of goal. And it's been one way traffic virtually all game. Germany. One Mario for another. Gets up for Gomez. It is Muller. Dortmund says the referee Podolski was the player who went down. Romero only half won it and Royce's block up. One is Mario Goetze. His name will forever be written in German football folklore. Maybe either. Well, considering he's a left-footed player, Di Maria, you think he would want to play on the left side, but I think he, as you've shown today, Germany again, can they carve out something else? It's Marco Royce. Now then, what does the referee say this time? He says corner after Fernandez is... Wide back. Fernandez covered, and Yogi Love will be frustrated with the start so far. Di Maria... Lamella was the player trying to in Germany make something of this. Goetze tries to help it on. It's Royce and it's wide. I think you said earlier. 52 days ago. Free kick for that. It's too easy for Argentina. And that might have been the first bad ball he played tonight. He still ended up with a blue shirt. And the referee might be reaching for a cut. Zabaleta is still down. That was a pretty robust challenge from uh, Podolski. I'm not sure why they're working on it. Is. Here's the corner kick, which goes a long way. It took a brave header by Ginter to get that out of harm's way. He wasn't quite sure where that was ending up. I think Yogi Love getting a reminder here as if he needed one. How much Germany will miss Philipp Lahm. Well, Phil member. Di Maria three four of them around him none of them could do anything about it Romero got something on it Gertz are back in took a deflection 4-2 I'm not quite sure where Romero is because he really has been in difficulties well it looks like he's got a crown but in possession now this is Rudy Rudy's the Good since he's come on, I think. Guerrero's usual shirt number 20.
Royce takes it with some pace and it was difficult to defend. Germany think that should be... But it's Argentina who take the spoils this time and the world champions are beaten for the first time in...